Chris Erkla here for the Press Enterprise and PE.com. The sentence just came in in downtown Riverside for Earl Ellis Green, a death sentence for the murder of Riverside police officer Ryan Bonamenio. I'm joined now by Press Enterprise's Rich Diatley. Rich, I'm guessing with the circumstances and all that's went on, not much of a surprise. No, the uh, judge called the slaying cold, callous, brutal, uh, particularly cruel because of the nature of it. Uh, Officer Bonamino was first beaten on the head severely by a metal bar that Green was carrying, then shot with his own service handgun. Uh, there was uh, evidence and testimony that Green could uh, simply have uh, continued on during the foot pursuit on the edge of Fairmont Park rather than turning around and attacking the officer who had slipped and fallen on a muddy patch. And uh, the father of Ryan Bonamino, Joan Bonamino, has been very outspoken from the beginning of this whole process. Today, though, during the uh, uh, victim impact statement, uh, the mother uh, of uh, Ryan Bonamino was very emotional. It was she who supplied probably the most emotional scenario there. She talked of going to Riverside Community Hospital where her son uh, was uh, on a hospital table covered uh, with an American flag, uh, the wounds to his head uh, hidden by a hospital towel, but she was told that her son could not be touched because he was a crime scene. She couldn't hold his hand, kiss him. All she could do was hold the American flag that draped his body and say her farewell to him. We do have the video from those moments in the courtroom. Let's take a quick listen. I witnessed my son's lifeless body on a hospital table draped with the American flag from his chin to his feet. A large tube was protruding from his mouth, and a hospital towel covered the right side of his head. So I would not say the horrific damage he suffered. <coughs> I was told I could not touch my son, only the American flag because he was considered a crime scene. I could not hold his hand to let him know I was there, and I could not kiss him on the forehead like I did when he was a little boy. All I could do was place my hand on the American flag and say, I love you, by the way. I have carried that image with me every day now for one and a half years. I have been brutally and cruelly robbed of my wonderful son. Now Rich Green uh, pretty much showed no emotion throughout the whole uh, process today except for those moments when uh, the mother of Ryan Bonamino spoke. Some courtroom observers said that Green, who has been called remorseless and without contrition by uh, the prosecutor Michael Hestron, bowed his head uh, and looked down at the counsel table uh, during her testimony. Difficult to see uh, from the position that everyone was in, but uh, he may have been showing some emotion during that moment. Now, Green did get the death sentence, but he will be taken to San Quentin, but as we know, it's probably going to be a long time before we really see anything. It could be a couple of decades before we uh, hear something on him uh, in terms of the appeal is automatic, so it goes straight to the California Supreme Court. Uh, the review time and the time to get attorneys and file all the paperwork can take years, uh, even decades, for that process. Then beyond that is appealing into the federal court and the habeas process. That could even add more years on. All right, Rich, thanks for joining us. That does it for this special report on the Earl Ellis Green death verdict. I'm Chris Erickley. Once again, death for Earl Ellis Green.